On this edition of Steve's Cooking, I'm going to show you a classic Italian dish, pasta pudinesca. We're going to be making a pasta pudinesca, absolutely gorgeous, simple to do, and I'm going to show you how you do it. Okay, first we're going to make some beautiful fresh pasta, very easy to get some flour and try and get proper pasta flour. It's much finer and it gives the pasta a beautiful silkiness. So in a food processor, add your flour. Next, aerate the flour for 10 to 20 seconds. Add eggs to a bowl and whisk. Add one egg yolk for color. Pinch of salt. And gradually add in the eggs. Can you see that? It's all come together. And when it's like that, you know it's done. Lightly flour your worktop, take out the dough, and knead for five minutes. And the more you knead, the more looser it gets, and it becomes beautiful and silky. Now place the dough in plastic wrap and let rest in the fridge for 30 minutes. Okay, let's make the sauce. Pudinesca, absolutely fantastic dish. Easy, but like I've said before, it's the quality of the ingredients. So roughly slice your onions, and it's not pudinesca without some garlic. And just slice them. I'm going to be using some mixed olives. I've got some green ones and I've got some black ones already pitted. And just cut your olives in half. So in a pan, add olive oil and be generous with the oil. So add in your garlic and you want to flavour this oil and cook them until they're lightly golden brown. Next, the anchovies. And these anchovies will almost disappear, as you can see. Look. Add onions to the pan and sweat for five minutes. So next, this is where the magic happens. Add in the capers, some saltiness. Add in your olives. You've got some saltiness from the capers and you've got some tang from the olives. Also some chili flakes for some heat. Now give a good stir and cook out for two minutes. Add in tomatoes, stir well, bring to the boil and simmer for 30 minutes. Smells amazing. So let's taste. Definitely needs salt. Ground black pepper, pinch of sugar, and tomatoes love sugar. Again, lightly flour your worktop, and you want to cut your dough into quarters. Now you want a rolling pin and flour it well, and you just want to roll your dough so it's thin enough just to fit in the machine. So we're going to start on the widest setting, which is number six. It's very important to flour your machine to stop it from sticking. So now you just want to put it through the machine a few times on the same setting. And flour your pasta and then fold, and then just keep repeating this a couple of times. So now setting five. Now setting four. Look at that. Beautiful and silky, gorgeous. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut it. At this stage, you can cut the pasta to any shape you want. Here, I made fettuccine. To prevent the pasta from sticking, add a good pinch of flour and shake well. In boiling water, add a good pinch of salt. Add in pasta and cook literally one to two minutes. And then at the end, some fresh parsley and some beautiful fresh tomato. And that's optional. Just gives it a nice freshness. So let's tuck in. Mm. That is gorgeous. I gotta have another bite of this. Mm. Beautiful combination of flavors going on there. You got the saltiness from the capers, the tanginess from the olives, and the fantastic silky pasta. Give it a go, guys. Thanks, guys.